more on government funding, if I may. Um, if if the uh, is the White House preparing for the possibility that in the Senate fallback CR that the administration is talking to Senate leadership about, is the administration prepared for the possibility that there will be no or very little Ukraine supplemental money in that CR? So look, um, we're very, and we've said this many times, we're very uh, proud of what we've been uh, able to get in a bipartisan way as it relates to um, the funding for Ukraine. It is important uh, that continues. Uh, and so, you know, we believe a bipartisan majority in Congress uh, is uh, are committed uh, to supporting Ukraine. And as you mentioned, the Senate, you've heard that from Leader Schumer. You've heard that um, from McConnell multiple times in just the past couple of weeks, how they are both, they are both supporting um, making sure that we continue that funding. So we're going to continue to work with members of both parties in the Senate. You heard from Jake say that he was at uh, Jake Sullivan, our national security advisor, was in the was at uh, was at the podium recently, saying how he's had conversations with both uh, both sides, uh, talking about the importance of securing that supplemental funding as uh, as part of the continuing resolution. And so you know that 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 funding, let's not forget, will will uh, will ensure the support for the Ukrainian people as they are brave fighting for uh, for their freedom, fighting for democracy, which is uh, important. That's why the president has shown this leadership for almost, uh, you know, um, clearly more than a year, a year and a half uh, with uh, with our allies and partners, partners with NATO uh, so that we can shore up that support. So that support is not just from us. It's from our allies and our partners as well. Look, we're, we're committed um, to continuing these conversations. We are grateful for the bipartisan support that we've seen. And so those conversations are going to continue. Government shuts down. Will the president remain in town until it's resolved? Well, say, um, look, uh, the president could be a president anywhere, right? Anywhere he is. Uh, I can say that the president's going to be here uh, this weekend in Washington, D.C. You're here, meaning we're on a plane. Uh, be in Washington, be there, be, we'll be in Washington, D.C. this weekend. Um, look, again, the shutdown, this Republican shutdown does not have to happen. It does not have to happen. Uh, and uh, it's going to hurt the American people. Uh, I just don't have anything else on his travel, but I can say that he'll be here this weekend. Will, will anybody else be joining? Any, anybody else from the administration be joining the picket line? Uh, the Labor Secretary, so, anyone else? Yeah. So as you know, there is uh, the president. You know, normally travels with um, you know with senior staff. There's senior staff here uh, on on the plane. You know, this is something. This is historic because this is a sitting president who's going to be joining an active picket line, uh, and he. It's going to be about his support. For the auto auto workers, for the for the union members, I don't have anything else besides that.